Hello, everyone. My name is Douglas Sirino, a master's student in University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'm going to present you my undergrad work at Federal University of Ipsi. This work is based on the landscape ecology theory that studied the mosaic of land uses and land cover and the landscape. There are key features in the landscape that can be easily identified. The app that touches, the matrix, and the corridors. Um, in this case, those three elements are taught for a forestry species. But the elements in the landscape can change according to the species that you are focusing. For humans, for example, the cities are the habitat, the matrix can be natural areas as forests, and the roads are corridors that allow the movement in the landscape. Here we have an example of the Amazonian rainforest in the year of 1986, where we can see kind of scars in the forest that are roads. If we highlight those roads, we can notice some central ones and smallest ones crossing them. This pattern of deforestation is called fishbone, and in some years it can completely change the landscape, as we can see here in the same region nowadays. So the roads are matrices and landscape by themselves, but also leads to landscape use changes, what can severely causes habitat loss with biodiversity loss and isolation. And the most conspicuous sign of those impacts are the fauna road queue. In Brazil, about 5 million and medium large sized mammals are road queue by year. A paper made by Pinto and collaborators for the Latin America shows that mostly of the road calls researches in the region studies exclusively road mortality and road queue species composition, having a gap in studies on habitat for the area, as highlighted by the red squares. Uh, where we have very few studies on road ecology in Brazil investigating habitat. A previous work showed that some species are dominant in the road queue record of mammals in Brazil. With Cerdosium toes, Euphrates extinctus, Tamandua tetradactyla, and Mercofa tridactyla representing about 39% of the total uh, mammals road queued in Brazil. We can see the degree of threat for each of four species and the occurrence range of them. With special attention for the giant anteater, the Mimercofa gatridactyla, that are considered vulnerable by UCN and already extinct in some regions of Brazil, as Rio Grande do Sul, Rio de Janeiro, and Espírito Santo states. For this work, we searched by road queue to the four species from two main data sources. One, monitoring roads across the Brazilian territory provided by our collaborators, and other mainly from citizen science to the Urubu app from the Brazilian Center of Road Ecology of Federal University of Lavras. For each of the road queue, we generated a random point representing a pseudo absence, giving us so a matrix of zeros and ones to the statistical analysis. If you have a road in the landscape, you found a road queue, you can simply build a radius around the point, considering, for example, the life area of species. But the individual can be road queue in the border of this area. So you need to consider a greater radius around the point, what we call here of phi, that is the double of the radius of the life area approximated for a circle. For each species, we have a different life area and a different fee value. For the landscape analysis, we use the data from MapBiomas Initiative with pixel size of 30 meters. We consider the exact year of the road queue for each occurrence. And we extract the few radius around all presence and absence of road queue, searching for landscape composition in terms of forest, savanna, forestry, pasture, agriculture, and vegetated areas and water. And one more category, farming, that is the sun of pasture and agriculture areas plus areas of culture rotation of those two land uses. 
For statistical analysis, we build generalized linear models where our dependent variable are the number of road fields. It is the matrix of zeros and ones. So our model are a binomial model and the explanatory variables are the percentage of land cover of each landscape. So we run the regressions considering one land use or two land use summit or interaction between them. We do that for all combinations possible for all four species. And we selected the models by a kite information criteria. As a result, we have almost 2.7 thousand road kills between the years of 2000 and 2002 and 2016, with about 1.3 thousand to Serdoxion tolls, 589 to Ophatus extinctus, 422 for Mimir tetradactyla, and 405 to Tamandua tetradactyla. The results of model selections uh, bring it for Serdosium tolls pasture combined with agriculture highlights as the main factor to predict the road cure risk, with agriculture having a bigger effect than pasture, and both of the uses can be considered uh, as metrics in the landscape. While facts extinct, like two matrices combined also respond better. Forest, that is the commercial plantation of pinus and eucalyptus, summit with farming, with forest having a stronger, stronger effect than farming. For Mimercophaga tridactyla, we have forests interacting with pasture. It is one matrix cover and one habitat cover, regulating the effect of each other on the road to risk. In the first line of the graphics, we can see the relation between forest and road to risk, and in the second line, the opposite, where the forest cover is acting as a regulator of the road to risk. That probably occurs because of the dependence of the species to forest areas. When we have just open areas, the animal can move more in the landscape, increasing the chance of road encounter, and hence road to risk. For the Tamandua tetradactyla, we also have an interaction between an habitat and a matrix, with savanna and agriculture interacting between them. In both cases, one variable interacts with another, accelerating the effect of the road to risk. Uh, this species inhabits lots of environments but have arboreal habits. When we have just savanna or mosaic with agriculture, without canopy formation, probably the animal moves more by the ground what can increase the road kill risk. Uh, looking for the four species, we can notice a, a pattern where the two entities uh, have more complex models to predict the road kill risk. And uh, this complexity can be related to bigger habitat dependence and more sensibility to metrics. Uh, remember that both species have some degree of threats. Uh, and Tamandua tetradactyla is vulnerable in some states of Brazil. Back to Serdosian toes, if we analyze the species range, we can notice that it occurs in the entire territory with exception of the center of uh, Amazon rainforest. Our road kill data shows that the species is being road killed out uh, of its original life area in regions of the Amazon that have already been converted in pasture and agriculture. What can be related with the civilization phenomena of Amazon forest by cattle production? I'd like to thank all collaborators, the FAPESP and Federal University of FBC for the infra infrastructure and financial support. And if you have any questions, the professor Simone Freitas is available for answer. And if any doubt remains, you can find me in my email address. Thank you so much.